So as we continue to talk about equipment that we find in our boiler rooms, I wanted to take this opportunity today to show you some specialty equipment that you might not find in every plant situation, but it's essential in a lot of them. All right, so these are uh, feed pumps just came back from a job recently and Nathan and I were talking about them the other day. And I wanted to take this opportunity to show you these pumps and uh, you know, show you guys these uh, pulsation dampeners. And so Nathan knows a lot about them. He's gonna tell us all about them today. Yeah, so the first thing I wanna cover is what is pulsation? What, what is the meaning of this device or why do we need this device? So I like to think of it as the kitchen sink uh, to put it in, in an easy perspective. So you turn the faucet on and you have good smooth flow coming from your faucet. But let's say we turn the handle on and off a few times in close succession. That's going to create a, a pulse effect in that flow of water. So not unlike that, we have this pump here that draws water in through a series of pistons and plungers inside the pump and it'll create that cavity that that causes a pulsing effect on the suction end of the pump. So this dampener will help to absorb that difference in pressure to make that water flow going into the pump smoother uh, in, in nature, more laminar flow. Now these cylinders, these are, so this is like a gas filled cylinder that kind of just absorbs the shock of that That's right. inlet pressure is what I'm gathering from you there then. Yeah, yeah. so this is this is filled with a, a compressible a gas of course and nitrogen in most cases and that has to be dialed in at each site because conditions will vary. You have differing water pressures coming in to our system or being discharged from our system so by being able to dial in that pressure we can hit that mark and really smooth out the flow of water coming into the pump. In a scenario where we didn't have this installed, this was blind at all, or it just ran straight into the pump. I mean, what kind of, how would, how, how could we contrast the difference between the two? Yeah, what would happen if this wasn't here? Mm. So imagine little air pockets as that plunger, this is a plunger style pump, progressive, and it builds pressure through each step. As that plunger retracts and pulls in water, it can develop little pockets of air, and that air will react differently than the water when it's compressed. So because of that reaction occurring and very fast inside of this as the, the plungers are moving, it will create vibrations as that air and water reacts inside of the pressure, uh, inside of this pump. So that's really what you're, you're dealing with there is those little pockets of air. A suction dampener like this one will keep that water source smooth and flowing into the, uh, the pump. The other thing I wanted to mention to you is this is a, a suction dampener. It's on the suction side of the pump. We also recommend a discharge dampener because the water coming from this pump is going to have the same effect on the piping system that it's connected to. More of a surging style water flow to the piping system as you can imagine that. Almost like a hammer effect happening inside the, the piping system wherever this pump is connected to. So we have a phrase in the industry that the suction dampener protects the pump, the discharge dampener protects the piping system. Now, so in talking about that, and we're obviously dealing with a very high pressure and high flow system here, what is the pressure of this pump? Do you know the pressure and uh, flow rate of this particular pump? Yeah, you're looking at about 230 gallons per minute at around 720 PSI. It's fairly high pressure and a large amount of flow. That's right. When things run smooth, they tend to last longer and be more reliable and more efficient. So we want to protect not only the, the asset, but also the piping system of our customers downline or in our customers site specific setups as well. Yeah, I know we added these to all of our high pressure uh, rental skids for the purpose of uh, one and talking to customers and just dealing with you know the questions about that. It's it, it again it protects our equipment, it protects their equipment, it makes their you know our stuff more reliable from site to site. And so, absolutely good stuff. So um, anything else you want to add about it? Anything you got uh, high pressure pump knowledge you want to share with us? Well. These were very successful at the last job they were on. Uh, great pumps uh, that meet a very niche demand out there. We could get into the workings of the pump. Maybe that's a later video. But 
These are great pumps that are, are ready and available and uh, did a great job at the last, uh, last job they were on. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, be sure and hit that thumbs up button and stick around for our channel for more videos. And we'll see you next week for another Steamworks.